I want to ask you a question. Is it later than we think? Could she already be called and chosen? Sealed away? There won't be one extra one, you know. Could it be possible? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In the pollen of breeding male and female, there's a million germs goes forth. A million eggs goes forth. But there's only one of them living, and yet they're everyone just alike. One out of a million. Every one of them, the same eggs and the same kind of germ. One of them lives, the rest of them dies. No one can tell which is the one that's a ripe egg and well, what about it. God has to decide that. Whether it's going to be a boy or girl, blonde or brunette or whatever it's going to be. God decides that. Not the first one meets, but the first one God decides. Maybe one come up here and one across. If you ever notice in the test tube, to see them come together. I've watched it. God has to decide that. One, every one of them just alike. But by election. The natural birth is by election. God takes one out of the million. When Israel left Egypt on their road to the promised land, there were approximately two million people. Every one of them was under the same sacrificial lamb. Or they wouldn't have lived. Every one of them listened to Moses, the prophet. Every one of them was baptized to him in the Red Sea. Every one of them danced the women with Miriam up and down the side of the, when, the seashore when God destroyed the enemy. Every one of them stood with Moses and heard him sing in the Spirit. They every one eat manna out of the wilderness that dropped down from heaven. New manna every night, which is a type of the message. Every one of them eat from it. But out of the two million, how many made it? Two. One out of a million. There's approximately 500 million Christians in the world and I count Catholic and all. 500 million so-called believers in the world. If the rapture come tonight, that would mean if one out of a million was the count, I don't say it is. But if it was, 500 people in the next 24 hours to be missing, you'd never even hear of it. There'll be that many missing anyhow. It can't even be counted for then it could be happen to us, friends, like it did when John the Baptist came. Even the disciples said, why did the scripture say? Why did the apostles or the uh, prophets say? Why does it say that Elias must first come and restore all things? He said, I say unto you that Elias has already come. And you didn't know it. One of these days we could be left sitting here. What about the rapture before the tribulation sets in? It's already come and you didn't know. All the bodies sealed in, just keeping it in step. I ain't saying it's that way. I hope it isn't that way. Friend, when if, let's, if we've got a feel in our heart tonight that we should straighten up our lives and the things that we have done, let me advise you as a minister brother. And I'm going to say this for my first time over the pulpit. I've stretched out farther tonight on this than I have on anything else any time anyhow before the public. Because I've had a great freedom in, in these meetings. If you believe me to be God's prophet, you listen to what I've told you. If there's one little tinkle of feeling in your heart, you go to God right now. You do it. Stop just a minute, man. Look at your, your creeds that you serve. Look in your churches. Is it just exactly with the Word of God? Have you met every qualification? Say, I'm a good man. So was Nicodemus and so was all the rest. They, they were fine. See, that don't have nothing to do with it. And women, I want you to look in the mirror. And look what God requires a woman to do. And see, in God's mirror, not your church mirror now, in God's mirror, and see if you could qualify in your life the spiritual bride of Jesus Christ. Ministers think the same. Do you cut corners here to save somebody's feelings over yonder? Would you do this if it wasn't, if they put you out of the church? If you are feeling that way, my dear brother, let me warn you in the name of Jesus Christ, flee from that right now. And lady... 
if you can't measure up to the qualification of a Christian, not as a nominal Christian, but in your heart, and your life is patterned exactly like God's marriage certificate here says it has to be. And church member, if your church isn't like that, can measure up to God's qualification of His Word, get out of it and get into Christ. That's solemn warning. 